This is Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley on WFAA. Time now for Reporters Roundtable this Sunday morning. Ross, Bud, and Bernadine, Channel 8's political producer, is here each week. And Ross, I'll start with you. All the talk around the Capitol is can Dennis Bonin survive this scandal? I think he can survive this scandal, but there's a lot of talking to do here. You know, he's accused of meeting with a political activist who says that Bonin offered uh, media credentials to the floor of the House that the activist would go after 10 of Bonin's fellow Republican incumbents. Um, it's a mess, and the guy he was talking to taped it. As soon as we all hear that tape, we'll know exactly what happened, and then we'll probably know the fate of Dennis Bonin. And Bud, isn't the biggest deal here about trust? whether the Republicans can trust the speaker they elected? They elect the speaker, and so they would be the ones to elect a new speaker next session. Uh, you know, there would be no reason for him to step down now. But the, the, the thing is, this is not resonating with the people of Texas. They think this is more kindergarten silliness, more back-talking games down in Austin, um, and they hear about hidden tapes. They think it's just more, uh, you know, more secret squirrel. Bernadine, what do you think? Secret squirrel here? Or is this something that might take down the speaker? I don't think it's going to take down the speaker. Number one, who's going to replace him? But also, I cannot believe that the Republican Party would allow Sullivan to bring down their Speaker of the House. Also, we have not heard the recording. The public has not heard the recording. Only a select few have heard the recording, so but, but why would we write his obituary? Well, would, 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 this, would this be, the, you know, Sullivan bringing down the speaker, as you said, or would this be the speaker making comments himself, not realizing he was being recorded? Well, again, we need to hear the recording. But Sullivan has a lot in this mess. So and, you could almost conclude that he would be part of bringing down a speaker who a lot have, they, they like him. Yeah, he was elected unanimously. Bud, go ahead. Yeah, Jason, I was going to say the only people who said he should, he should step down are the people who didn't like the results of the session, who are already complaining about him anyway. There's been and, no big crossover. And, and, yeah. and Ross, it's only a matter of time, I presume, before we... One, let me add one thing here. There's an yeah. audience of 150 for this that it goes beyond the public. You know, it, this might not ever rise to public concern, but if the 150 members of the House want a new speaker, that's the audience here, and those people are roiled up right now. And after well, the election, well, not all of them. We haven't heard from all of and, them. And, and after the election, they may elect a coalition speaker again anyway. Yeah. Well, let's shift off in the final moments here too about El Paso. Realistically, do you think we'll see anything politically come of this, Ross? I don't know where we get to the point where they say enough. Um, you know, there have been endless conversations like this after every shooting, and you, you know, eventually, if they're going to change the law, they're going to change it sometime. I don't know if El Paso is the one that pushes them to do that. Bud, briefly? You know, the legislature doesn't even want to pass John Cornyn's suggestions, Greg Abbott's suggestions. They believe that God gave us all the guns we want. A majority of the legislature doesn't believe we should have gun laws. Bernadine, final word this morning. I don't think we're going to see any either because now instead of talking about guns, they're talking about mental health and video games. So I don't think you're going to see much change. And of course, Congress is also considering the red flag laws too. That's kind of percolating in D.C. We appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching as well. ABC's This Week begins in just a moment right here on Channel 8. We'll see you again next Sunday. Hope you have a good week.